Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, today is the second Tuesday of the month of December 2023. And of course, that means it's Patch Tuesday security updates. So these are the last updates for this year. There are no bug fixes this uh, month because of Christmas holiday. So the last update, unless something very, very uh, important happens, the last update of the year for Windows 11. Uh, they contain, of course, security updates that are mandatory and extremely important to uh, install to stay safe. We'll have a rundown a little later of what is actually in here and how many security uh, flaws are fixed for December 2023 in Windows 10 and 11. So in Windows 11, 21H2 and 22H2, uh, sorry, 22H2 and 23H2, 21H2 is not supported anymore. So 22H2 and 23H2, what you will get if you go into your updates and check it out. And here I've installed them. Let's go to the updates here. Go to update history. Uh, you will get the cumulative update for Windows 11, 23H2, or 22H2, like I said. It's the KB503-3375. So same number for both Windows 11, 22, and 23H2. Um, they follow, of course, with a very close numbering, uh, basically, of uh, since they're very, very similar. So um, they, of course, contain a few bug or security fixes that we'll talk about. And this is going to be something that we're going to talk about a little later. What does it do? It brings up your um, build number. If you go to the Winver command, it brings up your build number to version. And it depends on if you're on 22H2 or 23H2. The ending is the same, but the number, the build number is different. 22H2 users, you should see here 22621.2861. And 23H2 users like I am should see 22631.2861. So the ending is the same. It's just 621 or 631, depending on 22H2 or 23H2. So we'll uh, have a roundup of what exactly is in here. Do you have critical flaws? We'll all check that out as we uh, go through the day today, see what's in there. The install itself on my machine here was a very quick, uh, from the download to the setup to the um, restart, and it's all done. I don't think it was more than 10 or 15 minutes uh, in all in all. And if you look at just the install phase and the restarts, it's literally less than five minutes. So uh, this is, of course, a powerful computer with an SSD drive. But it was a very quick um, install on this Windows 11 machine. So check it out if you haven't installed debug fixes for last month, or actually this month on Windows 11 because they are, appeared last week. Uh, they will be installed at the same time, so uh, that also is something to note if you haven't done so. It might take a little longer because they'll install those updates at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.